am Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. And today I'm with Ross Johnson, director of disaster response for the Missouri Synod. And we're really just down the road from the headquarters of the Synod. It was just a couple of miles that way on Interstate 44. We're on 44 and 141 because just really a few days ago, there was about, uh, well, the water was up to our feet right here and this intersection was almost underwater totally. What's happened is uh, due to extensive rainfall in the center of the country, we've had tremendous flooding all over this area and really thousands of people's homes have been hit, devastated, including many, many Missouri Synod people. Ross, what's been going on? Well, as the floodwaters have gone down, what we've seen, it's just revealed to us the amount of damage and homes that have been affected. In Missouri, thousands of homes have been affected by the storm, in Illinois as well. And so we're using congregations in Illinois and across the state of Missouri, especially in the greater St. Louis area, to do response work. That's fantastic. You know, over the last number of years out of LCMS World Relief, and then as we've transitioned, about 10,000 or more people across the country, Missouri Synod people, have been trained in early response and they're ready to go, aren't they? They're acting tomorrow here. Yeah, in Saturday in Illinois alone, we have over 100 responders that are going to show up, work on 17 homes. They're going to be pumping out basements, tearing out drywall, and helping people rebuild their lives. You can imagine you have a little drain leak in the basement and or a sewer backup. It really throws your life out of whack. but when your whole home has been devastated, water. We've seen LCMS people, we've seen pictures and actually seen the sites where water is right up, filled up the whole basement. So th these are devastating events, especially at this time of the year. We have the volunteers, we need more volunteers, but we especially need the financial help. Our funding is really low right now, isn't it? It is, and we have been as generous as we can be. Just this first week alone, we've given out over $60,000 in work to bring capacity to our Lutheran congregations that are responding in Illinois and across the state of Missouri. And as you know, it's, it's all about our own capacity to help both those outside the LCMS family are hurting, and we do it in the clear name of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, and we help our own LCMS people. Uh, and, you know, I've been through this for so many years. Just the, the response of people who have been helped by the church, they're, they're just shocked. In many cases, they never even knew the church did anything like this at all. Uh, the same response has come from non lcms people, but LCMS people especially, you just, you change their lives forever. They are so thankful for uh, their fellow Christians. It's amazing. What's made an impression on me is how the congregations have been willing to respond and to use their congregations as a hub to reach out in time of disaster into their communities. And it's neat to see how they're just living out the, the Christian life, the catechetical life. They're living out the fifth and the seventh commandment. They're helping their neighbor in every need. And it's in times of floods like this that you can see your neighbor in a time of need. And it's great to see Christians getting together to love others in word and in action. Absolutely. Luther said that at Christmas time, the Lord took on our flesh and there's no greater motivation than for us as it were to take on the flesh of our neighbor that is to serve them in love. Help us out. We appreciate it very much. God bless.